Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Two Point Campus. We are back in Pebbly Ruins for another challenge mode. This is the Pebbly Puzzler. Let's dive in and I will show you how we get a gold rating and the best time possible. So, here we are in Pebbly Ruins. And multiple choice. That isn't very good. The Pebbly Puzzler has been quizzing people longer than any county educator. Every hundred years or so they wake up with another set of cryptic questions for whoever happens to be alive, and now it's your turn. As you'd imagine, there's something of a traditionalist, and in education that means multiple choice. Each of their riddles will have four options. Choose wisely, or end up on the wrong side of mystery. We have to correctly answer eight mysterious riddles. Our course is archaeology, and our student intake is 20. Now, you need to answer every riddle that you get, otherwise you will not get uh, a good time. So everything needs to be done correctly. I hope you like games and puzzles and cryptic stuff because that's what's happening. This is my whole thing. Today we'll be asking the question, can you outpuzzle the pebbly puzzler? But not as directly as that. Any questions? Tough. I ask the questions. Time for the first pebbly puzzle. This is my whole thing. Apparently it's his whole thing. Read the riddle carefully and choose your answer. Each answer has an associated symbol and a corresponding puzzle plinth. Those rather tasteful statues there. To solve the pebbly puzzle, pick up your answer's corresponding puzzle plinth and place it inside the puzzle patch. How many times do you want to say puzzle in our intro? Uh, what has hands and a face but can't smile or hold anything? A ghost, a clock, Albert Crank or Cheesy Gubbins? Now, I'm sure we'd love to answer Cheesy Gubbins to every question because it is the ultimate answer. It is, however, one of the correct answers of these riddles, but it is not the correct answer of this one. A clock is the correct answer, so we'll pop that down there. What? It took me years to think of that one. This isn't your first time riddling, I see. It's not. Don't get ahead of yourself. It was only a practice. Things are bound to get more puzzling. They always do. Now we need to purchase a plot. Every single plot here costs $30,000 and has a build time of three days. The plot that you need to take from the first one is this one here. And that is because most of the items in these plots will disappear when you unlock them. These ones don't, but those uh, columns are only worth about $100 each when you sell them. These ones stay and they are worth pretty much as much as the plot costs, which gives us a really good starting balance for when we go into this level. Now then, next key thing for this first plot is to make sure your dig site is big. That's going to give you the maximum number of items and the largest number of items, which means more money. First thing we want to do though is sell the ancient head and the second ancient head and then the ancient stone. Now this is going to give us 91,400 in the bank. We've also just picked up a bookworm there, which gives us a nice little boost to our finances. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, though, is build my campus building. And we want to build this in a very peculiar way. So our door is just going to be a side door, and it's going to go right on the side here. Then we are going to add in an extra little nook right here. I think that's going to be big enough, because I have toilets that are three by three. So... I just go in here and put in a toilet. I'm not going to build it. I'm just going to put my bathroom in here. That is the perfect size. It gives us a little bit of an overhang, but that's going to be important as well. Then I'm going to extend a little bit more to here, and that's going to give me enough space for my showers. Grab that bookworm as well. Then we'll put in our dig site. Now, what we want to do is we want to fill up the rest of this plot with our dig site. And it's really important because it gives us the maximum amount that we can get from these digs. I think it goes to about there. So it's a huge plot. But make sure you put in your campus building first so you don't have to make any adjustments. Then you want to put in your archaeology tools and stuff just to uh, improve the learning experience for your students. There we have it. Right, so this is our building. We want to put in our lecture theatre next. Now, if you haven't already done this and you've been playing challenge mode, I really would advise you save some blueprints for your challenge modes because it makes everything much easier. Uh, so we'll put in our lecture theatre and then I have a dormitory that I've specifically made for challenge mode because it's cheap. You can fit in 20 students and it is almost maximum um, like decorative level, maximum accommodation rating. So that's gone in now and you can see we've got a little bit of space left that we can put in those toilets. It will be very cramped, but that's okay. Next, we wanna get our library in because they're very quickly gonna ask for that. So we'll put the library in right here. 
we'll just move the door a touch and that should give us enough space no it won't we're gonna have to remove that and then put in the library door right there now there's a little bit of space there so i could put a bathroom there i also need to put in private tuition at some point that is re in fact we can put in the no we can't we need to hire some staff first we're not going to put in private tuition yet ian quack is a good one to have and that gives us our first campus level and also gives us our first net like our first puzzle to solve you will get a new puzzle every time you ca your campus levels up we're going to drop in a librarian now and we should just have enough for a brand new teacher to kick off the year and then they'll start educating our students which is brilliant that's exactly what we want once this applicant comes through hopefully they are a tier three you want tier three to begin with that'll give you the maximum boost so we'll just wait a little bit uh, we might need to skip the video until I get a tier three but what you want to do is you want this year to be all about gathering finances and our aim actually for the course of this year is to solve um, as many of these puzzles as possible we need to solve eight we need to try and solve seven or at least have enough money in the bank to increase our campus rating to get the last few uh, riddles unlocked at the end of the year this is your aim very much like the last challenge mode we did where our, our aim was to make as much money as possible because we wanted to max out our campus level right towards the end of the year your time stops in the uh, summer so the timer won't go up anymore in the summer period which means you have all of this extra time now with that clock frozen to complete the level and get 23 minutes and 59 seconds on the clock because that's when the first year ends i have seen someone do it four seconds quicker uh that's in the two point campus discord if you want to have a look you can see the uh, incredible time the disclaimer is that it was done in the beta version but you know, I, I don't know if much has changed in between the two, but this is the best time I've managed to get and I'm showing you how to get it. We are still waiting for that teacher to come in, so I might have to just bite the bullet and get a, a level one archaeology teacher. Uh, we'll speed things up a little bit and uh, see if this next one happens to be, even if it's just a level two, that would be great. Just a level one again. We'll bring them in though, and then we can start our academic year. Now, you will also notice, complete an objective to receive your next pebbly puzzle. The faster you do this, the sooner I can go back to bed. Please hurry. So we need to solve eight pebbly puzzles, and here we go. If you chop me up, I won't cry, but you will. What am I? Sponge pudding, an onion, chasm 24, or cheesy gubbins? I would cry if somebody cut my cheesy gubbins, but it's definitely an onion. Now we need to get to campus level four, and our students are arriving. We've got 23,700. You get about 20,000 every time you solve a puzzle. That allows us to get our next teacher. And I will also be able to put in my pre-designed private tuition. Now you can see it doesn't quite fit in that gap there. So we are going to need to make a couple of adjustments. I think what we can do is yeah because we can't put the toilets in there so we're going to put it down here then we're going to shave this bit off then we're going to pick it up rotate it around and drop it in there we go right the next thing we're going to have to do is just adjust the building a little bit so i'm going to expand this to here that's going to allow me to put in my toilets and stuff and we carry on now we do have a teacher already hired to work in private tuition so that's good we have a librarian we're gonna add in now some study cubicles and the computer cubicle we don't have enough money yet but when we do we're gonna add in the archaeology bookcase as well before we do that though we need to adjust the temperature in here so we're gonna once again we'll put in some air cons all the way throughout this campus building and we can fit in some wall mounted ones just around here to keep our students nice and cool i can't afford it we've dropped into debt but that's okay because we have another riddle i can fill up every room on campus and yet i take up no space what am i a light fun time slime gold certificates or cheesy gubbins gold certificates uh, if you're a veteran <laughs> that's absolutely one but the key here is light there we go two out of eight already done and our dig sites are working so we also now have money to hire in uh, we can put in our archaeology bootcase so if we go in here 
drop down that archaeology bookcase. It just boosts the uh, student's ability to learn, really. They get an increased uh, gain on their experience and their course levels as they go up. It's much easier for them to increase their course level. And that also directly impacts your campus level. So that's why we put that in. Next, I'm going to stick down my bathroom because it's really important that we are still keeping our students happy during this time. Uh, I think we're going to go there with that one. And then I think we're a little bit too tight here. We're not going to fit in the shower cubicles. So what, we're going, what we'll do is we'll very quickly just move that there. Then we will move the cubicle here. And then the door will move to... Oh, not the whole thing. Just the door, thank you very much. Grab the door, stick it there, and then we can pick up this, move it there. Pick that up, stick it there, and then I'm going to just move this along as well. Actually, what we can now do is put the private tuition back in full size, but I'm going to leave it for now. We've got a little gap there for no reason whatsoever, <laughs> and then... Uh, once we get a bit more money in, we'll be able to sort things out a little bit more. I really don't like that. Actually, what I'm going to do is, when I get some money, I'm going to sell the private tuition and just build it again. Oh, no, we actually can't. We can't because we need the space so that students can get around and access extra bits, which is why that corridor has to stay there. But what we could do is we could sell the private tuition, move the dormitory along and have that full size private tuition like I'd planned. That's what I'll do. So, yeah, there's a little bit of tweaking to be done uh, with the building as you move on. But it's because you're working in such a small space, it becomes a little bit like playing Tetris. We're going to lose money here. Oh, no, we've actually made a profit somehow. That's good. Uh, but you are not happy. Why are you not happy? You failed something. What's going on? You're going to the library. That's okay. You go look at those books. We've got a big queue at the library, but we can sort that out. They'll eventually read all of the books that they need, and then they'll be sorted. So it's just a bit of a waiting game right now. I can see here. Now this, if you get this, this is the ancient gem. It's worth $40,000, which is huge. So if you get that on your plot, you know you are not a winner. Uh, I've had them come up a couple of times. I've been lucky enough to get two in the one plot sometimes. But as you can see, they're gradually starting to dig up artifacts, which is giving us a nice, healthy profit. Obviously, we'll get the odd dud here, like tin cans and stuff, but everything adds up. And you can see here, these stone plinths and stuff, they're worth about seventeen to 20000 I can see a UFO there, that's worth a fair bit. But here, the old broken pots and stuff, not worth a great deal of money, but... There we go, we've got our ancient gem dug up already. Now I'm going to leave it for now, because that's going to help me a little bit further on down the line. What I can do now, though, is quickly sell the private tuition room, then move this dormitory along. Ah, we can't put the private tuition in there because it's... But what I am going to do is stick the private tuition back in. There. We'll move this bathroom to here, like that, then we'll put in our private tuition room again. In fact, it might fit now, but I won't be able to fit in. Oh, I will be able to fit in the shower cubicle. Yes, we're having a little bit of a to-do here. <laughs> right, we've got this private tuition in. That's going to give us a max boost to that. Uh, we can't fit in the toilet. But what we can do is we can just shave off this tiny little corner here. And then I get to keep in a few more of the items in the private tuition room. Now we've got 6,000 left. I'm going to move the bathroom back along to there. And then I know that's space for my shower cubicles, which are needed because it is quite hot here. Next up, let's put back in some aircon units. Now you'll notice I've not put any food items or anything in yet, but I will once I've got a bit more cash. And then we want to put in one in the bathroom here. And oh, yes, of course. I have a bloody radiator in there. Right, okay, that's done now. We can sell the old trolley. 
fact, I'm going to sell my Ancient Gem now. 41,000, which is a lot. That gives me a nice boost to my finances and allows me to put in my small shower cubicle right there. We'll get rid of this radiator and then we'll move the aircon unit into it. And now we have enough money to put in some benches, bins, food items, dormitories and stuff like that. Not dormitories, we've already got dormitories. So we'll put a burp machine in down here and a cheesy gubbins down here. Then we'll put the pulp station in here and the um, morsel men right there. Next, we want some entertainment. So we're going to put in a games machine and a telephone. Now, I've put the games machine in because it gets requested. The Meat Wizard machine is one that they do request. We also can put in some archaeology tools when I find them. There they are. We'll stick some of these in down here as well. And then we can fit the rest out with benches. Perfect. Right. We want some outside benches as well. I know that they will ask for the following. A love bench. Park bench. That's what I've had asked for so far, but also they often ask for a flat flower planter. Go there. Excellent. Right. Now we want to have a look at what we're going to need to improve our course. So you can see we already need one more archaeology teacher. So we're going to hire that in as soon as possible. I am going to bring in a janitor though. And another janitor. There. Great. Right. I'm easy to get into, but hard to get out of. What am I? Mitten University? A toilet cubicle? Trouble? Or cheesy gubbins? It's trouble. That's another one down. Now we've got two flying saucers there. We've got a load of stuff here. This is going to be really good. This is going to give us a nice boost to our finances. Uh, we do need to buy another plot. I'm going to do that now. So we've bought another plot there. That's going to bring in some cash when we uh well it's going to set us up for the new term so buying that plot's very useful because it allows us to prepare in the event that we need to expand into the new term i don't know if we'll need to but when you put in those items you improve your course level as well your campus level so it's uh, probably a good thing to do anyway uh, i've brought in someone else to work in the library so we're going to add in another staff member to work in there we could do with another bookshelf so I'm going to duplicate that, put that one in. Ooh, we don't like it there. Push it right against the door. There we go. Excellent. Next. We are in debt, but that's not an issue because we're going to sell some items and get straight out of it. There we go. We are out of debt already. Next up, can we build our dig site yet? No, we haven't got enough money, but that's okay. Once again, things will happen. Things will come. We'll be absolutely fine. But as you can see, it's now just a waiting game while we uh, run the clock down here. There's not a lot more we can do in terms of expansion because we don't have any money. Once they've dug up a little bit more, though, we will be absolutely flying again. We'll be able to put in our new dig sites. That's another campus level. And again, that's from students leveling up. What's more useful when it's broken? An egg, the human spirit, a clock or cheesy gubbins? Cheesy gubbins? No. Uh, cheesy gubbin dust on, like, chicken in an air fryer. Oh! Don't call me a genius for nothing. They want a records cubicle in the library. Now, I don't know if I can fit this in. I can if I move this aircon unit. So we'll put that down here. Then we'll go back into here, get our records cubicle, and it can go right there. Ha! Huh. Tiny, tiny library. But there we go. Lots of stuff to sell. So we're going to very quickly do that. Sell all of these things. Off you go. Then... We are at Cam's level 7. We've got 4 out of 8 pebbly puzzles. The aim is to try and solve 7 of 8. Or at least have enough. Now, we want to put in some dig sites. The size of your dig site doesn't really matter down here. Because we're probably not going to end up using them. And having a bigger dig site doesn't necessarily alter the um, campus level that much. But if we need to, we can. 
I would like to keep my money for building a much larger campus building because I really want to in a really well fitted out um, computer lab because that is going to pay dividends for us. So we'll put there, then we'll get the side door in here. Once that's built, we'll start by putting in our computer lab. Off we go. So you can see here, we're going to get a load of money from these uh, once they've been dug up. Normally by around about mid-year, so very soon, they will actually be uh, completed and all dug up. And then it will reset going into the next term. But we don't want to do the next term. So let's build our computer lab. I'd have been tapping my toe from hither to yawn if I wasn't completely torn. We're just going to start by putting in the basics, but I will also show you exactly what they request and exactly what you need to put in, just in case. So if we go over to our course management, you can see we need another teacher. But if we go in here, you can see they need one archaeology teacher. And if we click on the course settings here and then go to the um, course requirements, you can see eventually they'll need a science lab. You will never get to that point if you follow this. But these are all of the items that they request in the computer lab. So there's a digital computer, digital console, plotter, and an oscillator. They're everything that needs to go into your um, computer lab. So they want the oscillator, which we can put in. They also want the plotter, which we can put in. So that goes in nice and easy. And then, obviously, they are going to need a few more items in here. We can't afford to do that right now, but they need the digital computer and the digital console. However, we've just completed our dig site, so we're going to sell everything here. Lots of Captain Yesterdays, lots of ancient henge pieces, ancient reptile, more henges, Captain Yesterday again, three Captain Yesterdays. Captain yesterday, Captain the day before yesterday, and Captain the day before the day before yesterday have arrived. Right, we've got 97,000 now. So we can put in our digital console and our digital computer. But like I said, we're probably not going to end up using these. We have 58,000 in the bank. Now, what you can do is hire a load of staff now. We do need another teacher, we need another lecturer, so we'll let that run. Hopefully we'll get in a brand new one very quickly. We can also put in stuff like extra staff members, that takes us up to seven. We are now on four of eight, what has 42 eyes and 12 faces, a cheese ball team, a breaking point beach party, a pair of dice, cheesy gubbins. That's the only answer that you probably couldn't um, apply to cheesy gubbins, but yes, it's a pair of dice. I'm just dotting stuff around now just so that it's done quickly. We've got people on low energy. And again, we can continue expanding. There's a level four. That's what we needed. Excellent. Right. We're going to keep hiring staff while we have the money. So because of that huge amount of cash we've brought in, we can really start pushing by hiring a load of staff. And hopefully take us close to level eight there we go right we're on level eight the more you take the more you leave behind what are they footsteps kudosh fish whispers or cheesy gubbins steps of course of course it's footsteps unless you're dropping cheesy gubbins all over the floor we are on six of eight our monthly profit is terrible though but if we can continue this trend of hiring in teachers you will see that our level continues to rise. Now, there is an element of risk involved in this. If you run out of money while you've got all of these teachers, you might get to a point where there's not really any turning back and you are stuck in this kind of, I've hired too many teachers, I can't afford things now, and I'm stuck, but I need to get my campus level up, and you might end up having to go into the new year and really struggling. But getting to this point now, I'm at level 9, I'll get another question. There we go. What's the county's favourite snack? It's Cheesy Gubbins. There we go. That gives us 20 grand. We've solved another puzzle. And hopefully now we can really continue to push. Uh, let's keep going. 
There we go, we're at level 9, but we've run out of people to hire. Now, <laughs> one more day, we'll get another one. Be a level 4. It's a level 1, but that's okay. We'll bring them in. We are halfway to level 10. But the wages right now could absolutely decimate us. Just going to stop there. Who else can I hire? One. Two. Now what we can do is we'll put in another challenge mode dormitory here. Get rid of those invalid items. Gets us a little closer. Now if we move the door... Like that, we can then add in another challenge mode dormitory. Once I move this door to here. Ah, doesn't like it. Right. What if we put the door... Oh, wait, I know what we'll do. We'll expand the building. Move the door to here. Like that. And then we can actually... Put in our building. Oh, I can't. I can't afford it now. Ooh, okay. This is going to be risky. Can I get another higher in very quickly? No. There we go. Minus 43,000. Oh, dear. It's okay, though. Because if we need to, we can sell stuff. We were so close. So very close. But it's all right. It's fine. If we need to, we can sell the analog computer. We can sell this item as well. But we keep going. We keep going. We're probably not going to get anything dug up in time for the end of the year. This might see us drop into a considerable amount of debt. Now, if I can, can we sell these? Yes, we can. We can sell these items. They have now been sold. We'll sell this one as well. Then, we can hire another teacher. There we go, level 10. Excellent. So we have an unequipped computer lab, but it doesn't matter because we're not going to go into the next year. What has eyes but cannot see? It is needles, of course. We have done it. 19 minutes and 13 seconds, so it's even quicker than I initially thought. So as long as you have a really large archaeology site and you cheese it, cheesy gubbins it, by uh, hiring in a load of staff towards the end of your year, make sure you do it at the beginning of the month so that you can get that done. But that is that is how you complete the Pebbly Puzzler. You must get all of those right, one after the other. So take your time with it. Pause the game if you need to. But there we have it. 19 minutes and 13 seconds. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope it's been useful and I hope you picked up a few tips from it. I will see you next time for more Two Point Campus or whatever else you decide to watch on the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.